What's up, cuz? The fam damn we landed, huh? <laughs> Good to see you, man. You too, brother. Yeah. How are you? How was the trip? Yeah, I think fine. The trip was, you know, long. Fucking long, right? You're looking younger every year, though, man. <laughs> so full of it. Whatever. What up, you boy? <laughs> Get out of here. Hey, cuz. How are you doing, gorgeous? How's it going, Jake? Oh, you know, can't complain, can't brag. Um, not as bad as I thought. A uh, little bit behind. I got some water damage in the old girl. I just want to make sure there's no mold before the kids go exploring. But don't worry, though. I got us a great place to hang our hats. Great. Hey, you got me worked for me. Don't. So where are we going? You'll dig it. It's uh, on top of a hill. Beautiful ocean view. It's called um, uh, Leo's house or something like that. You mean the Lamau house? That's it. But I, I got us a great deal for the week. Are you along with What's wrong? So people say that the Lamau house is haunted. <laughs> haunted? It's not haunted. <gasps> or is it? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we should probably just load back up the van. Let's go check it out right now. See Donnie? what she looks like. We'll see. Come on. Boom! <sighs> So you're here two months ahead to make sure the beach house gets ready. And instead, you find us the Adams family's house? It's a very small island, brother. This is the only house the whole family can fit in. He's got a point. But my brother did offer for us to go to his house. Please, come to my house. Not here. You're very nice, Vince. Thank you. What the hell? Look, Dad. Cemetery. Cool, right? What's wrong with you? You scared us. Sorry. I'm sorry I should have told you about this backyard. No kidding. Just aged 10 years. I told you this place is creepy. This is a little bit more than creepy. What is this all about anyway? The natives believe that this house was built on a cemetery, like a swan. The what? A swan. <laughs> Did you say a swan? A swan. It's a ghoul in Filipino folklore. Whoa, tell us more. Later. We have to decide where we're going to sleep. Please, come to my place. It is too dangerous here. I appreciate Vince, but I don't believe in nets. Besides, I don't feel comfortable in putting the five of us to your family. I want to stay here. It's going to be weird. You're weird enough. But I want to stay here, too. You know me, all for the spooky treat. <laughs> no wonder you picked this place. Good enough. Well, if you guys are crazy enough to want to spend the night, I'll give it a shot. But don't come crying to me if you guys can't sleep. OK, then. Let's look at the inside. I'm going to Naay da utang spirito. Ayaw ka balaka Vince. Kung kaya na gani, derecho ka mi sa inyong mom. Palay. The 
place needs a little clean up. A little? Okay. The place needs some work. But I think we could do it if we all work together. What's well, family for, huh? What's going on? There's something outside. Maybe we should go stay at my brother's. Are you freaking nuts, man? It's the middle of the night. Relax, everybody. We're not going anywhere. It's just their imagination going wild after hearing all those stupid stories. Oh, I saw something. Okay then, let's go check it out. <coughs> ah, uh, uh, shit, what was that? It's a bird. Probably flew into the window and scared the living crap of the kids. Dude. I think it was still alive when I fucking stepped on it. Flew into the window, huh? There ain't no window there, bud. At least that explains the shadow. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I'm going it's to enough play. for one night, man. guys. We're done cleaning. Why don't we spend the day at the beach? Cool. Where are our swim trunks? It's upstairs by the corner. We got wild waves in this one. We're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. We still have to clean up at the house. Oh, come on, you don't have to stay. There's no way you guys are sleeping here tonight by yourselves. Well, nah, Jake's gonna come. Oh, he is, is he? Yeah, sure, why not, we'll have a blast. That is, if Mama says it's gonna be okay. Mom? Richard, what do you think? Well, now I have to be the bad guy? Okay, you guys can stay tonight, but no swimming after dark. Nice! Thanks, Dad. Do you really think that's a good idea? What do you think about it? We'll be all alone tonight. Well, <laughs> giggity, giggity, giggity. Woo! <laughs> Not too bad. Move this a little farther away so we can kill ourselves. Get some wood, my man. Nice. Back up, back. I <laughs> <laughs> 
glad you did this. So am I. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Did you hear it? Yeah. Can you go check what it is? Probably something fell though. Maybe we have some rats. Can you go see? Okay. I'll go check the basement. I love you. I know. Be careful. Shit! Richard? Babe, are you there? Yeah. You scared the hell out of me. You scared me? What's going on? I heard you scream. I just fell. Why don't you do that in the morning when you can see something? I was, dummy. No, so loud. Come on, let's go swim. But Dad said not to. I know what Dad said, but it's so much fun. Not if we get caught. But we won't. Come on, just for a little while. Besides, it's safe to let me go alone. I hate you. Okay, but just for a few minutes, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Gotcha. You're a jerk. <laughs> Not funny, dude. Well, maybe next time you won't go in the water without telling me at night. Come on, let's get out of here. Alice, don't move. It's gonna pass right over you, okay? Just stay still. You're doing great.
stay right here, okay? Holy cow! Ah! Now that is neat! Yeah, this place keeps getting creepier by the minute. That is so cool. Right? And you're getting weirder. Wait a second, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought you guys were into haunted films and spook provision and stuff like that, right? <laughs> yeah, I am. Right, right? Well, you get it for free here, bud. Yeah. But this is different. Are you serious? What, are you listening to Uncle Vince's stories again? The guy is full of bull. Of course not. Oh yeah? Tough stuff, huh? Tough cookie, huh? Alright. How about we play a little game my old, old aunt taught me a while back. <laughs> what kind of game? Talking to ghosts, buddy. Ooh. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, but it is a good time. Especially when you get a place like this to do it in. What do you say? Come on, yeah, I'm in. right? I'm I know in. you're in. What about you? Why not? Yeah? Really? Tough stuff. All right, we need a pen, some paper, powder, and like a, uh, like a cup, like an empty, empty wine glass. I know you. Yeah, all right, I'll go get it. All right, oh, oh, hold on. We're going to go back and sing some karaoke, buddy. Song and dance, come back, get into a trance. All right. All right, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, Down in Louisiana, close to New Orleans. Uh, we're back up in the woods, on the evergreens. It's a log cabin made of earth and wood. A little country boy named Johnny B. Good, who never ever learned to read or write so well, but he could play guitar just like a ring in a bell. Go, go! Go, Johnny, go! Merlin. Hey, sweetie. Good morning, Mr. Richard. And this is Jake. Oh. Hey, partner. How are you doing? Not too good, I'm afraid. I'm here on official business, Mr. Richard, and I'd like to talk to your wife. Yeah, sure. Is that a little piece of wood? Thank you, sir. Oh. Nay mga milagro nga nitabo karon. Mga lubong nga gipangungkab og mga bata nawala. Mga bata? Ingon sila mo do ning panahon nga ang aswang maghimog lain aswang. Mga ba? Hindi pagi kana ang mga mananambal man hina daw karon mga base duha ka adlaw. Tia, uh, kung nay mga milagro ba nga makit-an kanya mga di mao. Tawagi lang ya ko, ha? Sige, tawagan man kita. Sige. Pag-ayayo na si mong pamilya. Ikaw po. Salamat. Salamat.
Hello. What are you doing? Did I frighten you? A little. How about you, young man? What are you up to? There's a lady here. A lady? We were talking to her. What? Yeah, um, she just left. Hey, right, let's go inside. Then she just disappeared. Quite an interesting woman. Well, I don't like it. Which part? The beautiful eyes or the veil? I don't like a stranger in our backyard, beautiful or not. I got it. But seriously, let's remember that uh, our backyard is a cemetery. Right? It's logical that people will come and pay respect to their loved one. I know he's actually got a point. These people around there, they love to pay the dead respect. I can't wait to move into our beach house. Yeah, when's that gonna be ready? Very soon. Two weeks, maximum, I promise. This place isn't so bad. All right, put them in a circle, not in alphabetical order. Try to make it pretty tight so we can fit our little hands in there, right? Got it. Nice. Hey, uh, where do I place these? Ah, the yes and no. Put them on opposite sides facing each other, okay? And take these letters, mix them in with the numbers, and uh, let's make a circle, right? All right. Nice. I call the spirit to this room. I call the spirit to this room. I call the spirits to this room. Now what do you say we talk to my dead grandpa? His name is Arthur Vandalay. Okay, Arthur Vandalay. You have to put your hand on the cup very lightly so it'll move around and say, I talk to the spirit of Arthur Vandalay three times. All right? I, I talk, talk to, to the spirit of Arthur Vandalay. I talk to the spirit of Arthur Vandalay. I talk to the spirit of Arthur Vandalay. So now what? Yeah, be patient, all right? We wait. Oh, come on. This is BS. You're just fooling around with this again. I'm done. Stop being a brat. Is there a spirit in this room? If there's a spirit in this room, Answer by yes or no. You guys better not be pushing this cup. <laughs> it's amazing, I'm not doing anything. Do you want to communicate with us? <sighs> David, be ready to write down all the things that it points to, okay? Alice, you do it. Are we bothering you? This is amazing. Go ahead, ask a question. Are you a guy or a girl? How old are you?
Oh, all right, we got a funny spirit here, huh? Nice. How old am I? Hey, Jake, I need your help here. Oh, yeah, I'll be right there. Just when it was getting fun. Ah, don't worry, we'll have plenty of time to do it again, okay? I know. Thank you, we have to go. What the fuck? That dog we saw the other night. Oh, why do I feel like such a fucking wimp? I think all those stories are getting to you, eh? Whatever, dude, I'm loaded. I'm gonna go inside. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, now you're loaded. I'll get some more wood and I'll join you. Son of a bitch. Hey, stop. Probably the lady from the cemetery the kids were talking about. Your children are beautiful. Thank you. What are you doing here? What? You don't want me here? No, yet. What I mean is, do you think it's dangerous to be alone in the forest at night? Dangerous? For whom? Seriously, the one thing I don't understand, every single Filipino I know, excellent ping pong player. <laughs> All of them. They're just like hitting it, spinning it. I tried to play, like 21 nothing. 21 nothing. I don't get a freaking <laughs> point in. You guys are like half Filipino, so you're probably pretty good at ping pong too. Talk about generalizing. <laughs> Stereotypes are there for a reason. That's all I'm saying. It's taking him so long. Ah, who knows, who knows, who knows. I'll go check it out. Hey, Papa's home. Richard? Bro, where you been, man? Richard? <laughs> I guess he's tired. So what do you say? We go down to the store, get some ping pongs, some paddles, and you show me how to play, because I don't know, and I know it's in your blood. All right, you gotta teach me what we'll you be know. Half good players. You gonna be yeah. half good players? What's a half good ping pong player? Like left-handed? Richard? Richard, what's wrong with you? Are you mad? I'm not the one who's crazy here. What happened to you? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know how I got here. All I remember is I was in the forest picking up wood and, and, I, and I saw the dog. I'm going mad. Crazy. Maybe he fell or something. No. Oh. I don't think so. Perhaps I'm developing Alzheimer. You're exaggerating. This is the first time that it's happened to you. We'll have you checked as soon as you get back home.
Cynthia. Look, my legs were up. I'll go get some ice. Looks like that dog again. I think it's digging up a grave. Dad, there's something in the cemetery. What's all this noise about? We saw something digging up a corpse from its grave. Richard, did you hear that? Yes. Is that all you're going to say? I'll go see what's down there. That's it. I'm going to go call the police. I'm going now. No, wait for Jake or the police to come. Make up your fucking mind! Isn't that what you wanted? So just shut up! No, and I'm really worried. Okay, go back to the house. I'll go look for him. Who's there? All right, you're close enough. Stop! Don't shoot. I think it's Richard. Are you okay? I'm okay. What happened to your mouth? Phil. Did you see anything? No. I'm still gonna go look. Now that I'll be on my way. It's alright, Phil. Sorry for the trouble. It's okay, it's just my job. Sorry. I don't know what's happening to me. <laughs> don't worry, Dad. I love you. I love you too, Dad. Who's there?
Yo. Dude. Oh. Dude. Fucking. Damn man, what's wrong with you? Sorry man. You find anything? There's some dog in graves and seeing corpses. I guess it's better than evil shadows. What's wrong with Richard? I don't know. He's losing his memory and he keeps falling. I'm really worried about him. I told you not to stay at the Limo house. It's the spirit of the house doing that to him. Stop it, Vince. Richard is just sick, that's all. Richard is not sick. He is troubled by evil. Yeah. Please, get your family out of the house before, before it's too late. Doesn't matter anyway to you. We're gonna be ready to move in in two days, all right? This house will be ready, I promise. The Mananambals just arrived today. I will bring him with chart tomorrow. growing a lot of hair. Yep. I noticed the other day. It happened just like that? I don't know what's going on with me. First, lost of memory. Then, swollen leg. Hair growing in my back like a freaking werewolf. And like if it wasn't enough, I'd just be black. You should get checked by the doctor. I don't think we should wait. Maybe. Ang mananambal gusto makikistorya may tungod sa balay sa limang o kay Richard. Kano sa? Don't, don't. Sige. Sige. All right, um, what about me? <laughs> cool. What's my name? Oh my god. Uh, am I gonna be rich? <laughs> Come on, usually they'll say I'm gonna be rich and I'm gonna live forever. Um, about which one? Okay, I think we've had enough, guys. Um, we should probably stop now. It's impossible. What's going on? What the hell is that? Something's coming, Jake. Okay? 
I think so. It's coming closer. Run! Hey, Jay, what's going on? Are you fucking serious? You didn't hear that shit? I don't know what you're talking about. What are you doing with the door? No, Dad, don't open the door. Why not? I want to go to the beach house now. I don't care if it's not finished. What is going on here? What's going on in here? Come on. What the fuck? Jake, what happened to your head? I'll explain later, all right? We, we, these kids are freaking right. We have to get out of this house. I don't know what the fuck, but these stories, they're, they're, they're true. Richard, haven't you heard anything? Why are you standing there like nothing's going on? Richard, we have to get out of here now. Hey, man, we have got to get out of this house. Aw. Dad. I don't know that everything's going to be okay. The sauce is just fine. Are you out of your fucking mind? We've got to get as far away from this thing as we can. Jake. Richard! Jake, get the kids in the car. I'll be there in let's a minute. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Richard, you have to come with us. This house isn't good for you, baby. Baby, we love you. Come with us. Richard, come with us now! I'll come back in the morning. I need to see her. I want chocolate chip pancakes. And blueberry pancakes for me and Dad. I'll tell you what, why don't you guys eat and then I'll go get them. Oh, hey guys. We wake you up. Jake, are you hungry? Ooh, starving. Good, because Mom's making pancakes. Nice. And then we'll go get Dad. Absolutely. Hello? What? 
Are you sure? Okay. I'm gonna go over there. No, we ended up coming last night. Okay. Bye. What happened? Vince went to the Lamau house last night because he wanted to talk to me about his meeting with the Mananambal. And Annalisa said when she woke up this morning that he wasn't there. I don't think he ever came home. All right, I'm gonna go with you, okay? No, I'll feel better if you stay here with the kids. I'll go. I wanna go. Me too. I have to go talk to your dad alone, okay? But you're bringing him back with you, right? That's why I have to go talk to him alone. All right, I'm just a phone call away, okay? As soon as Merwin gets here. I want to go back home. We are. Jake, did you call? Yeah, I called yesterday. The first available flight out of this place is two days from now. Thank God. I cannot wait to get out of this shit hole and go back to the real world. It never used to be this way. I grew up here. See ya. Tia, this is Vidal. He's a Mananambal, and he comes from the island of the sorcerers called Sikihor. This is Tia, Jake, kids, and Richard. Thank you so much for coming. You don't have to thank me. Richard, how are you? I'm not sure how Ning aniko aron tabangan taka. Dili ko tataban. Palayo nako. Dili ko muhawa. Wala na ko ilaing antuan pa. Palay gamit. Nasayud ko kung kinsa ang nagunit kani mo karon. Nahibaw ko kung kinsa siya. Pakakun ang aswang. Richard! Richard! No! Richard! 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 Stop, you're hurting my dad. The Aswang is. I am helping your father. We have to take him to a hospital. Your husband is not sick. He is possessed by my Aswang. How do you know? Excess hair on his back, bite marks, vomiting blood. All are signs of Aswang position. I don't understand. I will explain everything to you, but later. We need to bring him inside and protect this house against the Aswang. Merwin? Yes, sir. Bring Richard inside and tie him up, please. Okay. Whatever. I don't want you to tie up my dad. It is only to protect your dad, I promise. 
Merwin and Jacob, once you're done, I will need your help here. Whatever, Doc. Jacob, if you could adorn the windows with these garlic bulbs. Adorn? Marin, spray this around the house, please. Okay. No, no offense, Vidal, but um, what are we doing? And what is this crap he's about to spray all over the house I just built? This is a special oil extracted from the boiled and decanted coconut meat and mixed with certain plant steam, upon which special prayers were said. When the aswang comes near, this oil will boil until the aswang leaves. It will stop the creature from getting inside the house through the windows. Nice. What is that? A stingray still scares the aswang. If only you are brave enough to face the aswang in combat. This dagger, made of sterling silver, that make the only effective weapon. We're protected. Sir, are we done here? Yes, we made it just on time. Now what? Now. Wait and pray. We're ready for the beast. I'm gonna go look for Vince. No. You must stay inside tonight. Well, you said everything's done. I need to look for Vince. We'll go for Vince, but not tonight. The Aswang, much more dangerous at night. Well, take my chances. Vince might need my help. The Aswang comes tonight, and we all need your help. You're not going anywhere, partner. You're staying right here with me and the family. Okay. All right. I'll stay tonight. But I'll go look for Vincent Sunrise. I'll be with you first thing in the morning. Could you tell us everything you know about the Aswan? Honey, do you really think that's a good idea now? Yeah. It's probably a good idea to know more about the dangers you are all facing. First, the Aswang is a safe shifter. She can transform from human to animal. Oh boy. Disguise herself as a dog, bird, snake, cat, or even into another human form. Some said she sometimes just a shadow. Often, she likes to take a form of a beautiful woman, but her original form is the one of an old woman. Long nails, missy heels, and sharp teeth, similar to a shark. The Aswang cannot be killed unless she takes a form of mortal, in which she needs to do time to time to hurt or kill humans. This one can't harm human while on her spiritual form. This is why she likes to possess a strong man's spirit to do her dirty task. Is that what happened to my dad? Yes. But how did she do it? She first will hypnotize you. She then possess her victim using her saliva through kissing. She then complete her task by biting and tricking her victim by biting into her back. This is why I need to exercise your father before it's too late. What do you mean too late? What's gonna happen to Richard? 
if he remains too long under her control, he will become insane or the beast will kill him when she is done of him. Please save my dad. I will. Exocrosim Domini, forget the fortis adversi. Vincent Leo de Tribu, Judah de Bed, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Was that exactly? It was hell that was the aswam. That was the aswam. There is no doubt anymore. The best control the child. We need to perform the bolo bolo. Bolo bolo. What is that? Yeah, it's exorcism. I I I don't know. Do what you got to do. I still say we take him to a real doctor. That's what Richard needs, and we should do it. I need the coconut oil I gave you earlier. I left it outside. I need it now. I'll go get it. Wait. I have to check something first. Good. The oil is not boiling. The beast is not here. Go. Need the salt, please. Jacob, I need the coconut shell. I need this to be boiled. They were gathered on Good Friday before Easter from east side of the tree. It has a special healing power. It's weird. Yeah, no kidding. My power comes from God. If you do not have faith, we will not be able to save your father. Without faith, the Aswang has already won. You are a good boy. Get a half-filled glass of water and a straw. Jacob, is the coconut shell ready? Just, yeah, just finished. We still say we take him to a real doctor, though. She wants to hold Richard. Not yet. Only if necessary. Be ready. It's about all time. Anata, why can't you understand this? Leave me alone. Come on now! Tia, read these prayers with faith. Do not stop, no matter what happens. I thought 
I bind you in the name of the Father, by the power of the most precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and Saint Michael, Peter, the Archangel, the Blessed Apostles Peter and Paul, and all of the saints, and I command you to leave Richard and go to the foot of the Holy Cross to receive your sentence in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Richard! You okay? Did you fucking see that? The corners are quick. They did a job. Now the worst needs to be done. Why don't you, uh, you let me talk to Tia, and uh, you go talk to Vince's wife. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you for everything that you're doing for my family. Do not thank me. It is not over yet. Yes, it is. 
As soon as we find my brother, we're going home. We're not spending another night here. Probably. The smart thing to do. Vidal, how come you know so much about this swarm? It is a long and sad story. Are you sure you want to know? Very much so. Very well. Fifty years ago, when I was only a teenager, I witnessed the Aswang taking a little girl from my village. It's located in the island of Sikihor. Nobody ever saw that little girl again. It's terrible. Did you know who she was? She was my sister. I'm so sorry. Thank you. It was so long ago. But yet, I still remember. Like it happened yesterday. Is that when you decided to revenge your sister? The right thing to say would be, from that moment, I vowed to find my sister. But the truth is, I was too scared to even talk about it. So what happened? God chose me. He gave me abilities to heal and help people. When I realized my blessing, I felt ashamed of myself. And only then did I decide to fight evil. Faster than me. What are you saying? These are the marks of the Aswang. She is here. Alice is in danger. Run! to regain control of yourself. Your family needs you. I'll go find him. No! I'm gonna go find that bitch! You stay here with my son! Do not worry too much. We'll bring your family back. Richard! Richard! Richard!
der, der, der. Okay. 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 Alice? Alice! 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 Unahin na makaatanan? Kumasayon. Anis! by the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Michael, the Archangel, the Blessed Apostle, Peter and Paul, and all the saints, I command you to leave and go to the foot of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.
Jake. It's okay, Alice. I'm right here. I'm right here. Are you okay? What happened? Where are we? We're down in the basement. Why? I want to get out of here. My child. What is less thing that is? Come on, 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 come on,